Welcome back everybody to a brand new episode of The Last Game Hunter. And I say brand new because you're seeing some changes behind me. And well, the room is going through some changes. And I'm hoping for the better because since I've made this move, my gameplay has gotten terrible. But anyway guys, today we're going to do a review on a microphone, a nice new boom microphone that could really help the show. And that microphone is the Manu AU-CM-10S. Okay guys, so sit back and relax. Whoa. Oh, sorry. So yeah, don't relax too hard because then you won't be able to watch this review. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do, of course, is open this up and take a look at what we have. Oh, happy, happy that I bought their product. That's another nice little thing that I love about these products. And then you have your user's manual, which is actually decently thick, actually. It's got a lot going on here. Huh. What's in here? Oh, there's your adapters to go to different setups okay so you have a phone mount all metal this is all metal that is really nice with some rubber here and here so you got rubber there and rubber here and it's just a pull press plate that's really nicely done I gotta say much better than my last one and you have a clip on here for either the mic a uh, light, whatever you wish to put on there. It's the same mount that you would have on any camera. So that's kind of nice. Oh wow. So, so far everything. And it, this comes with a stand and everything if you want to do uh, a phone mount or whatever, depending on what you want to do. And all of it is metal, which is really, really nice. Even this is metal. None of it's plastic. I think that's metal too. Wow. Quality is definitely not uh, an option here. It's definitely high. Oh, and rubber feet, nice. Okay, so there's the mic. Again, all metal. Really nice. And I'm not sure. Oh, it's got rubber going around here, I guess, for uh, somewhat help with vibration. I'll have to look all that up after. And rubber all in here as well. That's pretty cool. I guess it's a question of how or if this is a powered unit. So there's your sock and wow, all metal. Look at this, all machined. That is pretty impressive. I am very impressed with the build quality. So let's hope the build quality also justifies its sound. Hey guys, so what we've learned so far after doing an open box on this microphone is how well built everything seems to be. And I mean, there's no plastic in this. It is actually pretty impressive. Now, the other thing that I figured out too is this microphone does not require batteries like my Trackstar does. So this is pretty impressive. Like, if this actually performs or outperforms my Trackstar, which you guys probably will already know for around 50 bucks, this is one of the most popular uh, shoe type mics there are on the market. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna plug the Trackstar into my camera. We're gonna do a recording test. And then we're going to put this guy to the test. And we're gonna find out what's better. So we are now using the Trackstar. What I want you guys to pay attention to is the sound, the ambience around me. Uh, do you hear noise? Do you hear cancellations? Do you hear distortions and that kind of thing? So a couple things I'm going to say is pop, 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 pop goes the weasel. Another thing that I want to do is I'm going to turn my fan on low just to see how much noise it picks up. Yeah, remote control fan. So now the fan is going 
and I'm talking and how bad that is with the windsock on. I just need to know in a windy condition-ish, we'll go up one more notch and then up to three. Now my fan can go to six, but I don't think I would ever want it to be higher than this in any windy condition. So now we're going to turn that off. And there we have it. So this is the Trackstar microphone that now we've tried wind conditions and getting a little windier. We've uh, tested pop, 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 and me talking louder as such. So now we're going to change over to the Mano microphone and see what a difference it is knowing right off the bat that it's not powered. Now, what I would like to make clear here, the adapter that was included, that is to convert your three pin adapter to a two pin, which is necessary for camcorders, SLRs, and so on. So it wasn't a different size, it was to make that conversion. Now, from what I see from uh, looking over at my camera, it looks like the mic is going beautifully. What I see on my screen, even now, I'm being too loud and I'm not talking very loud. I can see the uh, output bars of my microphone going on my screen like this. And that actually impresses me a very big amount. So guys, puh, puh, Peter, Piper, Piter, Pupper, Pupper, Pump on Nickel. And now I'm going to talk louder and let's see now what this thing does in wind. So the remote control, we're on number one. And I'm talking while on number one. And now we're going to do number two. And whew, it's getting hot in here. So you know what? I think we need to go to number three because the wind is picking up. And now it's nice and windy while I talk. Now, what I like to point out again, and that's off, is this microphone is not powered by a battery. If this sounds amazing, I may have found my new microphone for my camcorder for one simple reason. I don't have to worry about running out of battery. And to me, that is a blessing. Now, the Trackstar, I don't use it as much as I used to. And it was a very good microphone and it picked up a lot. But my biggest thought with this mic was, when I was using it, it picked up a little too much and I could pick up uh, background noises and so on. I'm hoping that because this mic is not amplified in any which way or form, that it will give me that true sound that I've been looking for. Keep in mind too, I just want to make another point. This is a roughly $50 microphone, Canadian, and the Manu is about 85 so there's definitely a price gap, but I see the price gap, in my opinion, just in quality. The Trackstar is plastic, but that's all you need. It works really well for what it is. It does have its shock absorbers, so it's got a shock mount. Um, the extra gear included does compensate for some pricing. I believe you can get this microphone without this extra gear for almost the same price point as the uh, Trackstar. So that would only put it in a fair comparison at that point. So let me uh, look over the data and find out what I think of this microphone. I keep saying Trackstar, I'm sorry. This is a Tack Star. Trackstar just keeps sticking in my head because I used to be an RC car racer and Track just came out so easily. <laughs> sorry, this is a Tack Star. This microphone outperformed Manu only in wind conditions. And I'm going to give that the thanks to the battery. So the noise cancellation being battery powered definitely was a sure winner on that category. So outdoors, I would probably go with this microphone just because of that feature. Now, that being said, Overall, because this mic is not powered or amplified in any way, I found this mic better in my studio. So you're also again seeing some of the, uh, I'm not a fanboy, I'm not. Yeah, I probably am. But what I wanted to get at is in this environment, this microphone is definitely a sure winner and 
definitely a great value if you're looking for all the other add-ons. So for example, you don't have to be uh, using expensive equipment to be a big YouTuber or just starting out. So for example, my Galaxy Note 9 right here and its 4K camera can do the show quite well as if you go back and look at all my other shows in the very beginning, they were done on a Galaxy Note 5, some done on a Note 8, and then I bought my 4K camcorder from Sony. So up until then, I was using a phone. Most people would not even notice because the phones today do a great job. So that being said, with this all metal uh, kit and the microphone plugged into your phone, you could pull off an amazing YouTube show with great audio and amazing video. Do I recommend the microphone? Absolutely. This mic is gorgeous. And what I will do, I will try and leave a link below of the kit and I will leave a link for the mic by itself. If you got your own DSLR camera or you have your own mounts or vice versa or whatever the case may be, you don't need to spend the $85. So I definitely will leave the links below for that. Comment below, let me know you guys listened to the video and watched it as well, if you watched it all. And let me know what mic did a better job. Was I correct? Did in wind conditions, the tax star win? And in any other condition, there was less background noise on the Manu. So guys, thank you for watching. And this was a review of the Manu. I still hope I say that right. AU-CM10S. And until next time, doing reviews to hopefully help you save money in the end or just get that equipment you are really wondering and needed. Thank you.